Hello guys and welcome back to KiCad 9 tutorial series. Today we're gonna talk, take a look at Footprints Editor. Now, Footprints Editor is where you guys go and create a footprint for your uh, device. For me, I'm gonna go to this particular uh, NE555 timer, uh, SOIC8 package. It is very basic, it, it already exists, but I'm gonna take it as an example. We're gonna create a footprint uh, for it. So let's go to the data sheet. Let's check it out. This is the one that we want from one to eight. And if we go to the uh, mechanical packaging and ordering, we are gonna go down there to the packages itself. This is the dip package. And this is the, this is a special one. And this is the SOIC package that we want to create. Here it tells you the a PCB footprint that a TI or the manufacturer is recommending and we're gonna go with it so first let's go there and create a new footprint here are the uh, tools that we're gonna do this is the pad uh, tool uh, this is maybe a new one for you and uh, these are the drawing tools and uh, these are the measurement tools so first let's go and check the, the pads type this pad is uh, here uh, ready to be created. I'm gonna press E for, uh, I'm gonna press E. Let's go there, press E for edit. As you can see, SMD or through hole as pad types. These are the ones that we're gonna use. Edge connector, it's basically something like an SMD but for uh, connecting the PCBs as a, uh, as a connector itself uh, from its edge. Uh, non-plated mechanical through hole which is basically uh, let's go there circular and this one is round let's go there and five make it okay go to the 3d is basically just a cut mechanical cut with no copper inside or outside this is useful if your if your ic or connector that you're going trying to use uh, has some plastic or uh, something that sticks to the pcb like that you're going to make an opening for it Okay, edit again. Okay, maybe delete that one. And the last, the last uh, thing is SMD aperture, which is basically uh, a copper SMD, so, uh, SMD pad, but without any electrical connection. Not sure why would you want to use that, but it's there anyway. So let's delete that and get back again with this press e i'm gonna go to smd because this is an smd package and pad number one because this is pad number which is gonna be mapped to the schematic that we created the schematic symbol uh, the shape is uh, as you can see maybe rectangular or i like the rounded rectangular 155 by 0.6 because this is the dimension of the pad 155 by 0.6 the pitch which is the distance between the center of two pads is 1.27 and the, the distance between two rows is 5.4 this is very important for us to remember so now let's go back and create this maybe this makes it uh, really nice the radius make it 25 or maybe no 15% for the radius and now uh, everything is okay what are the layers that you want them to be in uh, of course the front copper layer as well as the solder paste and the mask expansion okay where to put it right now I can I can basically put it right here and click exit now uh, to make myself uh, easier to uh, to work with or to make this footprint easier to work with I'm gonna use the origin now click here position tools position relative to and use the origin now I want to make this half the distance of 5.4 from here which is 2.7 and since I'm going to the left I'm gonna make it like this and done now if I add other pads which gonna take the same shape because this is how KiCad works these are like this basically we can say that it is done right now and now we, re we need to rearrange them 
position tools relative to select an item this one i need it to be in line but offset 1.27 down and there it is and basically continue by uh, by selecting shift b select an item this one okay okay this one shift b this is the hotkey select an item and that's it so now since i made myself uh, working with the origin either i can create that relative to origin or shift b select an item i'm gonna select this pad but it's gonna be at the same y uh, at the same y level but for the x it's gonna be 5.4 apart so now when you go from the origin to the origin it's about 5.4 exactly as the data sheet says because we want to make a something like the data sheet recommends for our footprint to be working correctly so now it's basically just rearranging use uh, select an item like this select an item like this manual work like this guys is essential for pcb designers i know nobody likes it but it's essential it is done okay I'm, i want to save it click save and go to the my library untitled save something exists okay i'm gonna overwrite it i overwrite it let's go here check to check our uh to check our uh pad let's go here check our footprint and you're gonna find it like there that's that's it go to the 3d view this is basically it but it needs some trimming for example let's make the reference right here go to the silk screen and make maybe something like this to make it nice and easy and for me as pin one uh, indication i can put a circle but i like it to be a filled shape like this and save it's a little big but it's okay and that's how it, it it's gonna look like this is the, this is the silk screen and this these are the the pads now you can go to something called the courtyard the courtyard layer is where you define the actual physical uh, boundaries of your uh, device for me i'm gonna keep it simple i'm gonna copy myself maybe something roughly like this a little bit bigger maybe so now if i put a capacitor in here or anything that gets uh, close to this uh, to this particular line uh, keycad will will make an error and tells me that there there is a constraint now of course my pa my my device as you can see right here it's actually a little bit less than that so it can sit maybe up to here but it's okay to uh, to overcompensate it a little bit so now this is a a very uh, nice and ready uh, footprint this is the manual uh, the, the manual uh, method which is 99% of the time I'm gonna use it but you can go here for example and you can go you can go to uh, change the reference maybe put you like this triple uh, five timer basically fair whatever you want and most important you can go to the 3d model load your 3d model like i taught you in previous lessons and align it perfectly fine so that whenever you use this footprint it's gonna come preloaded with your 3d model this is a very important and nice step as well as a professional one okay i'm gonna save my my footprint is ready but now let's create something that uh, is uh, with the other method it's from here it is the half automatic half manual now the wizard launches uh, this particular box tells you what type of ic or package that you want these are uh, basically the standard one ones like qfn qfp uh, dip and soic so for or bga for example bgas are very hard to create let's go let's go with soic open that now by default it has 24 pins but we have only eight this is eight 
uh, how many rows two rows the pitch we told you the pitch is 1.27 which is the distance between two pads pad width and pad height 155 row spacing is 5.4 and now it is perfect go to the next step which is the body and now it, uh, it, con it control the silk screen silk screen is basically can be put like this uh, this is very famous if you don't want to have a big uh, silk screen but let's have a big silk screen and now the margin we're gonna increase it to 75 like this and 0 0.75 uh, maybe something like this will make it uh, a little bit broader do whatever you want but eventually after finishing everything which may not necessarily be a uh, all the things that you need to do but basically 99% of the time uh, you're gonna be enough with this then click this op this option export to footprint editor now it is in your footprint editor to manipulate change it uh, do whatever you know uh, check it out and basically save it if you are done this is this is the 3d view it is fantastic and this is this is the end of this tutorial uh, but I really want to make something uh, something else for you guys. Now, if you can see that these are multiple layers above each other, which is the front paste and front mask. Now, I want to make something for pad number eight. This is an important tip. I don't want it to have the exact same uh, paste and mask uh, shapes as well. So now, if you go here, it's not disappeared it's actually there but the the so see it's there it's it exists as a copper but the solder mask now covers all of it because we didn't make any any opening for it now why would we why would we be doing that anyway so let's start by doing this go to the uh, paste layer and then draw something like this click edit make it filled shape and maybe uh, create it like this and position it here. This is the paste layer. Paste layer is gonna be like that, but it's, it won't work because the mask is not opened. Now go there and duplicate the paste layer, edit the duplicated one and make it the front mask. So now, now it has a mask opening as you can see and a solder paste covering the mask area exclusively now this this type of pad is called solder mask constrained pad why would we be doing that because look at this the pad itself is a full-sized pad exactly like everything else but the solder mask opening and the, uh, subsequent, subsequently the solder paste is shrunk because sometimes in, in manufacturing, especially the cheap manufacturing ones, this distance between two pads, it's called the solder mask bridge, uh, has some limitations. For example, this 1.27 uh, millimeters, maybe this is uh, too, too narrow, for example. The manufacturer tells you, hey, we want at least 1.5. But the pad, it must not change because the pad will have the... the, the the actual uh, leg sitting on it so now you keep the pad itself the copper the same but you make the mask a little bit to the inside so that if you go here see this pad this pad is very tiny this pad is very tiny look at this it's like 0 0.3 0 0.51 so it doesn't need to be 155 by by 0 0.6 it can be just as little as this, but it's always better to have a, a, a footprint uh, bigger than the pad itself to sit properly. This pad right here is still bigger than the, the, exa the exact leg, but it's also having the solder mask now between the two pads a little bit longer. So now when you resubmit that, it's going to be uh, accepted. I really had to do that even in a professional uh, product uh, when I use uh, something like uh, P uh, PCB way or maybe if you use GLC PCB they tell you that there is a there is a limit between these of course uh, 1.27 is a huge I'm talking about less than 0 0.22 millimeters I had to shrink the pad opening not the pad itself 
the pad itself the copper is still the same and when when the leg is soldered it doesn't really care if you if you expand this to basically to infinity or not because it all it cares about is the paste and the pad itself so i hope you get what i want from this because it's important it is professional tip basically everything else is, is self-explanatory you keep digging around you keep measuring stuff you keep whatever until you think you get it correctly and of course re-measure again and redo it again so that when you press save you're gonna be sure that the footprint is absolutely correct so please guys like and share these videos please share it with everybody this is a free content that you can find in in udemy courses i make it totally free and updated for you guys the series will continue it just needs your support press the like button subscribe and share this to your colleagues check thundertronics.net and thundertronics.net store if you are interested in that and i'll see you soon